Warhammer. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on uh, the hardest difficulty, unfair. Matter of fact, I have upped the difficulty the last time. For those of you who weren't uh, with us the entire time, if you look at uh, difficulty now, it is de facto unfair, but we got a couple of even more unfair things. 50% uh, uh, more ca uh, NPC characteristics, 100% more wounds, 50% uh, more damage uh, received. Um, and I think that is it for now. So we're trying even harder than unfair uh, because I noticed that we became, became a bit OP and I want to keep uh, the fights uh, in good order. So we're using that in order to adjust going forward. On the top of the spire we are going to see whether or not I have overtuned it. We do have a team with two substitutes, Mar uh, Marakasai and uh, Irliot. Both of them uh, are normally not in the prime team, but I think we're still going to be fine. I sense something nearby. Entertain me. Okay, you guys go back. Uh, and patience has its limits. Marzai. Impossible. The world trembles beneath my feet. Well, I think this is pretty much the end of the line. We're not going to go any further without fighting. My ascension. Speak, Ed Father. Time to leave my mark. Good. That's By now, I I've see. healed Marasai so spared. often that it starts becoming a meme. But whatever. Trauma patches are there for a reason. Intriguing. None are better at searching. Don't tell me that he F's up. My prey awaits me. That he F's up. Uh, that. You can't do anything without me. All right. Cool. I tread a path unexplored. Speak, Elon. Elliot goes a little bit further to the back. Fate beckons me. Remember, innocence proves nothing. There is a further in my soul. Okay, how about to leave my mark upon the galaxy? How about uh, Saiken begins to tear them apart with a nice little AOE hit. I need no guidance. Uh, that looks uh, like a couple of them are already dead before we're even starting. Fantastic. So, Marza, you go over here. Uh, the back line will be covered by Heinrichs. Uh, he doesn't need to be that far back. Uh, so I can stand here for now. Elia takes some cover. And I think we're good to go. Uh, Heinrichs. Guides me. Buffs everyone. Let's see to it. Thanks for to the, the uh, words uh, of the Emperor. And gives himself forewarning, and we're in an okay spot. Cassia. Forces them to come together. Isn't this a job for the Put this down. And a little bit more of that. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. All right, we could up Psyken, or we're just removing hit points from them, which with 600 hit, hit points um, with Hecatrix, it's exactly what we were looking for. Keep in mind they have 50% uh, stat buffs. All right, move to there. Fantastic. 
Emperor, give me strength. She moves up. A little bit of this and if I may. Kasia buffs herself. I'm not a customer to die in the race, at least. And there we go. Uh, it's the initial knockdown. Very nice. Trap here. If I must. One, two, three. I understand your intent. Very good. Uh, Cassia could simply move back, and she will do exactly that. Thanks for awesome quick. movement rate. I am a prey My reckoning will be swift. To me. Your misery is my treat. I'm a member. Good. Listen, we do this and we do that. And all four gets a little bit of that, and a lot of that, and then here you go. Alright, uh, that's there is a nice interrupt. I think we're just this gonna put this in it. here. And, and there's an, another 600 hit point enemy. Okay. The wolf is on the hunt. Push you back. And uh, serve, uh, serve you a valuable lesson. Not to F around with us. One hit. Couple of extra shots. Another kill. That and I am not that. your Xenos pet monkey. Give this task to someone lesser. I don't like that. All right, and we can't pass uh, through, but that's okay. All far is just cleaning house here, man. He's sniping with his bolter. Don't dishonor the wolf with such tasks. Fabulous. Um, listen, we're just gonna use this and a little bit word of the Emperor again and a big fat nearly 700 points of damage. Good job, Saiken. I need no guidance. Moves over here. Easy. Okay. Uh. 
Ulfa gets another turn. earlier wow wouldn't have guessed that we that we're having this that uh, that many been kills been. in such a short amount of time Elliot finally can take a shot. If it serves your cause, I will not. That is beneath me. Uh, I messed up her action points, that's unfortunate. And conquer. These guys are really far away. Uh, sure, let's. Try this here because why not? Can't really reach that, it's too far away. Um, the ruin beckons. I will delight my masters with your demise. I reject the very idea. There we go. Finally, Elliot can take a couple of shots. We hit that witch with Saiken, which was good. and yeah let's let's just make sure that we can uh, kill has not beaten up anyone and he's ultra agile with grace and manners finally the first kill with grace and manners um Be 
One, two, three. Come on, kill him. Nah, you can't be serious. Oblivion approaches. Bow to me. Try harder. Let's see to it. Um but of course, Lord Captain. Look, taunting scream and that's about it. Step aside. The navigator is coming. Meet my artifact if you insist, Lord Captain. Cool. I would say, despite all of that, it was a relatively modest fight. Their hit points really have uh, have only prolonged it, but that was fine. I think the hit point uh, setup is good. I like that idea because they are not immediately falling over. Oh no. Come on, really? I am not a vessel for pain. I am its master. Help me, Lord Captain. You belittle me with this. No. That was a typical uh, trap if I've ever found one. Don't waste my time. <sighs> Unfortunate, yet soul. more healing to be done. Survive and serve. No medical One. needed. Consider yourself so bad. Two. Survive and serve. Three. I am grateful. I'm grateful. Consider yourself spared. I must thank you. I sense something nearby. Speak now. You delegate this menial task. Embrace true power. This colorful Xenos has hues different to those of its kin. It is as if they have been turned inside out and upside down. All right, Marazai takes even more damage. Everything about his kind is a reversal of the established order. Even Archons fear the Arabenian, and for good reason. Terentius the Arc uh, Machinator. Oh, this is the guy that has fled all the way to here. Speak now. Might be able to kill him as well. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Matter of fact, every single one of the uh, the Drukari would be worthy of dying. Let us see what I found. None could possibly accomplish this. Uh, Ten parry and area attack damage. Four damage against en uh, uh, enemies who have no adjacent allies only applies first projectile in a burst. Also, range of dash, uh, uh, dash and charge increased by one cell. That's not bad. And venom chainmail. The world trembles beneath my feet. Keep a sharp eye. Don't waste my time. Only death and suffering in the reaving tempest's wake. Okay. If Speak I was to take now. a guess, uh, this is where things are going. Uh, where things are going to become a problem. My aspirations transcend humanity. My patience has its limits. Fate beckons me. Took you long enough. 
Marazai has dozens of wounds. Survive and serve. Better than nothing. Intriguing. Terentheus, the Arc Animator. You survived, specimen. What a woeful luck of your abilities. You were supposed to die, die in the arena of the chasm. However, the servants of Azurash will soon remedy your blunder. Hello, Terentheus. I've not missed you either. Specimen. As you might have noticed, this version of the Stifler block uh, blocks both energy that bleeds uh, from beyond the veil and any physical attempt to intrude inside of its range. Your attempt of conversing is pointless. Simply continue your way to demise and do not disturb me. Yes, you are safe for now, but as soon as you step out from behind this field, who knows what shadowy corner will catch you. Terencian's face stiffens to a mask of content, but his working limb begins to twitch nervously. His chest heaves with a mechanical creak. Edalach, through my heart is, uh, is bound with anger. The immeasurable torment of a powerful uh, Farsia perverse despair. If you were to risk destroying this construct, it could cause an irreparable tear in the veil of the Komarak. What is it? Chance to open the warp? Uh, uh, in the heart of our enemy's bastion. I did not expect anything in this damn place to put a smile on my face, but I was wrong. Examine it. The Stifler's enormous resemblance of the device have seen before. There is no doubt that uh, the purpose is to suppress warp manifestations. However, you notice a few details that are out of step with the construct's otherwise typical Trukari design. Several of its parts were made from material foreign to the Komarak and fused into frame by unknown force. Hmm, I wonder what happens if I destroy it. Then you'll give thousands of souls to Sl Slanesh. You'll wound one enemy to empower another. Once she who thirsts is done feasting in the Komarak, she will surely sink her teeth into your world. I think I shall try it anyway. We are dogmatic at the end of the day. Plus 20. Oh yeah, what have you done? Curse upon you, monkey. Well, Arc Machinator isn't... Isn't uh, fate ironic from time to time. You, me, here. Ah, too bad for you. Earlier it's Saiken and let the battle begin. Alright, Saiken starts with... Uh, mm, normally with helping Heinrichs, to be fair. But, given that that's not an option, Ulfar is just as good as a target. And... Um, shall deliver swift retribution. Ah, well, that was not that swift and not that re retribution-ish. Isn't this a job for the serfs? All right. Very good, very good. Uh, you guys go here. I'll go here as well. And we're going to reduce hit points. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Very good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. 
tremble in that corner. Me? Cassia buffs herself. All for my man. A little bit of that. And a bit of this. Fantastic. I'm not done yet. Okay. Fair enough. Taking a couple of shots. And we're good. Well. Dear Humukolo's guard. We left an opening here. More damage. More damage. And... 136. That is fantastic. Watch. Well, we're just staying with you and melee. That is good. Give ourselves a few uh, hit points. And we're Gucci. Now, everybody, word of the Emperor. Defense. Let's see it. I won't have far. Get some extra turns and move here to hit and almost kill this guy. Fantastic. You know, we could take an extra turn, but I think we're fine. Elliot, um, what's this, and this, and that uh, here. This tedium is beneath me. You Kills this guy. If I must. We plant a nice little trap course. here. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. All right, a little bit of that, and a little bit of that. Much of that. Definitely some of that. Definitely some of that. And Ulfar uh, is fully buffed, which means now things are not going to be as fun for the enemies anymore. Oh, you're, you think that you think that that um, bothers me? That little hit? No, not really. Good. Let's go. One. Two. This tedium is beneath me. Wolves rain. Is that all you've got? Good, heals himself, and we're good. That was a solid one shot if I've ever seen one. I am not your Zeus pet monkey. Cool. Well, that was definitely worth it. Shuriken cannons. That's a lot of uh, rate of fire. 
And decent damage, actually. Unfortunately, the guy who should use it is not able to do so. I don't think that... I don't think that you could use this weapon, right? Nah. Aldari weapons, I don't think that a Space Marine would uh, use anything Xeno-ish. I'm on the hunt. Powers unseen uncover my path. Okay. We the world will bow. Got ourselves a final fight. Wait Alanach, the webway gate is singing to me. I sense that we are drawing closer to the salvation which is concealed behind these doors. However, the Farsia from the worlds are still there, somewhat in the depths of the spire. I cannot abandon them. Let us search the spire again. And let us make haste, Elena. Seize the opportunity. Okay, but what is it? Where would uh, these guys be? We have tried to find them everywhere. And it's not like we have left a lot of stones unturned. I think there was one medicine check that I skipped with a capsula but that's pretty much about it I really want to help her on her search be because I think it's a noble purpose to uh, rescue your own kin and she uh, in contrast to the Drukhari Malasar is not Zeno for uh, for herself so that in itself is good So peaceful coexistence could work, but I know that's a concept that just doesn't exist in the Warhammer uh, universe. I tread a path no one wants to coexist, the only constant is war. Powers unseen uncover my path. Well, maybe the least uh, aggressive faction would be the Tau, but I've not yet seen them. Uh, decently implemented in any of uh, the games. The world I might be wrong, but I'm not aware feet. of any. Because they also don't make for very, very nice enemies, right? So you do have Chaos. They are definitely um, completely opposed to anything of pe uh, peace or unison so you can completely forget about that the world then you do bow. have uh, the good old orcs and their former masters necrons both of them no bueno either Aldari are a little bit hit and miss, I would say. Some of them, yeah, maybe they uh, they could be friendly, but not all of them. Uh, Drukhari, for instance, no bueno. And to be fair, mankind isn't particularly peaceful either. So this is where the last medicine check was down here. Difficult to make anything out in the liquid. What do we need to do? Alright, the pass we lost. The Harlequin. Uh huh. Alderi Farsi has lost, who are being held in the spire of the rave, uh, Reaving Tempest. Upon. 
Learning more about his ki her kin's uh, misfortune, Elliot asked Lord Captain to help her to rescue the surviving Farseers and learn the truth about their disappearance. So clearly there must be a bit more to it. So clearly Let's there must be a bit more to it. Let's maybe see if we can work around uh, this here. A monkey, an outcast, uh, have found the way into the heart of the dark city. To save what little remains, the universe is full of cruel surprises. You have foreseen our meeting, but could not avoid being captured. What is the point of your prophecies, then? Ecladiel, I am glad the paths have crossed again, my child. It's a great relief to know that you are alive, and a great joy. Um, Making Alderi greetings. You've gotten yourself most amusing monkeys to keep you in your company earlier. He understands our language and even knows a thing or two of our customary greetings. It is the Alana who keeps me at his side. Were not for him, my soul. Um, if it wasn't for him, my soul would have long gone out of this body or else. I would have been devoured by a minion of uh, she who thirsts. All right, let's introduce ourselves. Of course, Elanach, uh, one forgotten, one manners. Standing before you is Eklidiel Maresh, who walks the path of the Farseer. He's the all-seeing eye and timeless sentinel of the Krudrach. Yeah, he was, that is, either way, a monkey's name is not uh, the kind of thing you would particularly interested in. In case you were expecting me to introduce uh, you to him, he will forget your name as... <laughs> serenely as one forgets a troubled dream in the morning uh, Eltach now that uh, is a word I have not heard in years there were other Farseers in the spire uh, Farseer says between the homoculus torture I was able to glance inside my kin's desperate minds I saw every soul that is sting uh, was extinguished in the spire saying a lament to every brother and if I get out alive, their names will not be forgotten. Your senses fail you, Eklandil. Many died, but not all. I was uh, unable to save her, but you could have tried. What is this? Explain yourself. What's all the good names made you to decide to uh, take uh, to torture one of my sisters? Are you aware of the Farseer soul is imprisoned in this object? that every touch causes unspeakable pain to her immortal, uh, immortal soul. Can you help her? I will release her soul from the suffering, but alas, giving her back her body is beyond my abilities. I did what I could uh, to save the Farseer's soul, but I could not only do that much. And lay a rest to the uh, wretched soul imprisoned in this object. I must confess I have um, set a little uh, store by your species in the past. Perhaps in some regards I was wrong to do so. The Xenos nods in gratitude, finds the spirit stone uh, on the Hemoculos desks and chants a few unfamiliar words. Dark blood pours out of the game board. Uh, as he finishes the, uh, the chant, a warm glow suffers from the stone. It is done. All right, the Farseer said, "You're at disposal, Iliad. I feared this moment would never come. Look at me, Eklenat, and tell me what adversity befell our home. As the council member, I need to know the truth. And Eklenat, do not even consider hiding anything." Eclidiel says, sometimes ignorance is truthfully a, bless, uh, truthfully a bless, my child. But I cannot deny you are right to know the truth. We found ourselves amid the stars in a stellar fabric. We encountered a monkey ship, a ship uh, much too p uh, puny to take um, an Asuari world. Or so we thought, until the council was struck by a vision of horror, the ship would be our doom. Not only the Kruderak, but for all Alderi kind among the stars, and even for those who pass stretched far beyond the stars. We could not allow such thing to happen when the ship approached. We pierced it with hundred salvo, and then rejoiced, for among the wreckage of the ranger uh, found no trace for the foreseen curse. Asurian, how wrong we were, the ship um, that returned from their reconnaissance, 
the starport were already carrying uh, it on their wings. Whether it was a scratch from the passing wreck or an infected uh, ashes of the monkey ship that the cosmic winds had had no time to disperse, the plague crept into our home and immediately began to eat away the craft world's very flesh. In the infinite circles, the, uh, the souls of the ancestors battled the spreading pestilence ferociously, but the world was falling apart and there was no stopping it. Spires collapsed, rivers dried up, we fought for our home until the very end, but when it became clear that the Kruderak was beyond saving, this council decided to gather all who remained on board on surviving shuttles and scattered across the galaxy to look for salvation. And that, that is what we did. The Kruderak completely destroyed. The Arbanian took care of what remained, but this is not your concern, monkey. Uh, what do you think, Elliot? But Echel she says... How did the crude rug end up in the expanses close to the monkey ship and the dark one's hunting grounds? That was the past chosen by the council, my child. Fate would await us in this pl uh, place for the promised salvation. No one suspected. The paths I have walked, uh, says Iliad, have taught me a great deal. To see the truth where it is concealed. Do not hesitate to cut off the heat of lying snake when it tries to coil around its heart. If the entire Farseer Council fail to foresee the world's doom, then everything the children of Asurum have been taught about the path of centuries is a lie. You're hiding something, Eclodiel, speak, and speak now. Eclodiel is like, how do you dare to go with that tone with me, outcast? I'm not um, obliged to justify myself. Well, um, perhaps you should be put back into the cage. Nope. We freed the homunculus. Uh, is this the things that we get? Okay, success. We have been uh, steering crude rugs along a course prophesied by the stars themselves until Shalath, a turmoil, jealous occurrence cast on the edge of the great wound. Storm coming, treated, uh, threatening to sweep the crude rug away from its path across the nearest Isle of Hope and into a place uh, known amongst the monkey as the Coronas Expanse. We stood by our decision. Someone proposed an altering of the course, but the closest grip um, of Shail was pa uh, blocking the pass. My vote was um, the deciding one in a difficult debate, for I believe that the prophecy had promised salvation and the expanse could not be a lie. You know, uh, you already know what happened next. So we are doomed. I should stay on the Kruderak. I should have tried uh, to help those in the disaster was not the Farseer who made a bad decision. What difference would have had made if you stayed there? It's the Farseer, it was not beyond their power. They let the Kruderak t uh, to the uh, prosperity for years had they not followed the prophecy of the old. There is no bringing back, but we can change the future. We're both guilty, but deserve a fate much more terrible than that. <coughs> However, it is too early for us to leave this world before we have atoned for our guilt. Come with me, Eclodiel. We have <coughs> a lot to do before the Great Oblivion. Perhaps we might even find a new home. Your words are like healing melody um, for my tormented soul. I accept your proposal, my child. All right. And that is um, how we are ending today's episode. I was uh, thinking that we would be done by now, but there is always more, always more. Um, nice, interesting kind of side quests, a lot of Xenos-ish uh, side quests, so I'm very happy that I stuck with uh, Malazar and with Erliot, because both of them do have interesting arcs, Erliot more so than Malazar, but um, uh, Marzai might be more for a heretic playthrough. If you're truly evil, uh, then uh, this is the guy to work with. Anyways, that's all I had for today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If uh, you want to save one of the far series as well, click the like button, because that's the only way to how we can find them. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.